Well, you can see the excitement on their faces, and we certainly are excited for them as well. You voted, the entire state voted, the entire country voted, and now it's on to the next round for the Detroit Youth Choir. They won a spot in America's Got Talent, the semifinals, and Nick Monticelli is live with the excitement and still has not sung, even though we keep introducing him with the uh, golden pipes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe. We'll get there eventually. I'll tell you what, if they make it to the finals, we'll have a discussion. Maybe that's a challenge for them. I'm not sure yet. Good morning, everybody. So if you watched America's Got Talent last night, you know that the Detroit Youth Choir was enthusiastic and ecstatic to make it to the semifinals round. What you haven't seen yet is the backstage interviews where they are talking about how even all the way in L.A. they can feel this Detroit love. Detroit Youth Choir! The Dolby Theater erupted last night when the Detroit Youth Choir was the first of the top six acts to go to the semifinals after their performance last night. And as of now, they seem to be winning over the judges, even Simon Cowell, who is not exactly known for his compliments. Uh, it was one of the highlights, I've got to be honest with you. Every time you guys come on stage, it's it's just amazing. I could not be happier for you. After the show, we had a chance to hear from the kids and choir director. We had an anticipation about us that was astronomical, you know, <laughs> and, uh, you know, we the nerve just came tonight. And they say they can feel the hometown love. I feel like everybody was rooting for us, especially our own city, Detroit. They showed us major love, and not everybody in America realized that Detroit shows real love. Now it's on to the semifinals, competing against six other acts. Scared, happy, nervous, all all of it, all of it in all one big button. pack. We have to keep working hard like we've been working, the hard curfew, the 9 p.m. curfews, even <laughs> though we're in L.A., um, we got to keep it going, keep saving our voices. We love you, Detroit! Well, they, cer they certainly were champions, and now we're crossing our fingers that they we can crown them the grand champions of this entire thing. Of course, they're competing for a $1 million prize and a headlining show in Las Vegas. Not sure that's going to work with an entire, entire choir, but we'll have to find out. Now, Evron, Jason, the dad in me, though, is trying to figure out how this all works logistically, though, because these are like 15-year-old kids. Mm -hmm. They start school next week. How does all this work? Do they get homeschooled? They bring the teachers in? Uh, we'll figure out the school thing school? later. We, we're going for that $1 million yeah, prize. <laughs> right. yeah. Split by all of those kids, you know, but nonetheless. A very good question, though, Nick. We're going to keep him. We're going to hold him to if they win. We're going to have That's the discussion. Right. The discussion, he says. An evening concert yeah, in I the round see, with yeah. Nick Monticelli. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Nick, thank you.